uh, hope that you enjoy the previous session in this module we are going to discuss estimation of calcium as calcium oxalate monohydrate to estimate gravimetrically the amount of calcium present in whole of the given solution let us discuss the principle the calcium is precipitated as calcium oxalate monohydrate by ammonium oxalate solution the precipitate is filtered washed dried and weighed from the precipitate weight we can easily determine the amount of calcium present in the whole of the given solution now let us discuss the procedure given calcium chloride solution is make up to 100 ml in a standard measuring flask pipette out 20 ml of the given solution transfer it into a 250 ml beaker add one or two drops of methyl orange and neutralize the solution by adding ammonium hydroxide carefully add 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute the solution up to 200 ml by water then heat the solution to boil finally add moderately excess of freshly prepared hot 2 percentage solution of ammonium oxalate with constant stirring to to get the precipitate the precipitation of the calcium oxalate is then completed by adding ammonium hydroxide drop by drop until the solution is alkaline boil the liquid for few minutes aside for an hour for cooling and also for setting the precipitate filter the precipitate using previously weighed sintered g3 crucible wash the precipitate with cold dilute ammonia solution at least 3 times by decantation process continue the washing till the filtrate does not give any precipitate with silver nitrate and nitric acid wash the precipitate finally with small quantities of alcohol for 3 times and subsequently wash with water transfer the washing to the crucible dry the obtained precipitate in a hot air oven for about half an hour at 100 degree centigrade cool the crucible using a desiccator and weigh the sample a duplicate experiment is also performed using g4 crucible now let us discuss the calculation part weight of the sintered g3 crucible is equal to x gram weight of the crucible plus calcium oxalate monohydrate that is ca c2o4 h2o is equal to y gram from the above weight we can easily determine the weight of calcium oxalate monohydrate is equal to y minus x that is weight of crucible plus calcium oxalate monohydrate minus weight of sintered g3 crucible 146.08 g of calcium oxalate monohydrate contains 40.08 g of calcium therefore that y minus x g of calcium oxalate monohydrate contains 40.08 divided by 146.08 multiplied by y minus x what is y minus x y minus x is nothing but the weight of calcium oxalate monohydrate gram of calcium which is equal to 
dash gram. Since we started the experiment with 20 ml, therefore we multiply by 5. Therefore, weight of calcium in the whole of the given solution is equal to that weight multiplied by 5. So, which is equal to dash gram. Similarly, the weight of calcium in the whole of the given solution for G4 crucible is also determined by using the above calculation. Therefore, the amount of calcium present in whole of the given solution is equal to dash gram from the G3 crucible and also dash gram from G4 crucible. Thank you.